Here's my ceiling fan uh, unit. You can see this is a this is a little bugger. Some of them are heavier than others. Uh, I'm hanging on to this. I don't know, 20 pounds, 25 pounds, or so. I want to make. Sh I've got to slip it up over here. So make sure these wires are out of your way. I'm going to gently lift it up in here on this right hand side. Get your ground wire out of there. Slip it up and just kind of rest it there. Now, you remember there was a, a groove in there. We've got to be real important. Uh, we've got to keep track of where that is. We're just going to slip this around until it falls into place. Now, when I swivel this, you'll see it fall. Feel that? It's, now it's set. You've got to make sure that gets set. If you don't set that in there, your fan's going to wobble around and uh, you don't want that. Okay, so that's that's what your fan's going to look like for right now. You remember how long our wires were. Um, we're not going to need all these wires, this wire, but we're going to reroute the wires and shove them over to this side over here um, so that we can hook them up to here. So you can cut some of this off. Give yourself an allowance of, of uh, you know, uh, eight or nine extra inches in case you make a mistake. The reason why this wire is so long when it comes out of the box is if you are installing this and if you have, uh, here our rod is not very long. If you had a rod about four feet long, obviously you're going to need this extra wire. So they do you a favor in the box, they, they allow for that. Um, so that's a really good feature. So uh, we're going to cut off the excess wire. Now I got the electrical tape in there. I'll take the green wires and I can gently push them back up in here and get those out of the way. Okay. It's up in there. Now this is what I got left. I got a black and white wire from the box and from the ceiling fan I've got a black, white, and a blue wire. Now if you're wondering about the blue wire, what's a blue wire for? And generally what the blue wire is for is if you have a light uh, a kit that you're going to install on the bottom of your fan or something like that, you would use this, the blue wire for your light kit. So I'm not, I'm not going to cut this wire off. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm even going to put a wire nut, believe it or not, on the end of it. You don't have to. But I'm going to do that and then I'm going to wrap this up and put it up, up into the box. So that later on, if somebody ever decided to buy a fan a light fan kit for their unit, they still have this up in the box. So I'm going to be nice for the next person, just in case they want to put a fan, a light on their fan. Okay, look at this. We're getting close with the fan. We've got the five blades on. Now you're going to want to go around and tighten up, snug up each one of these screws as you go. Make sure you don't miss any now. So tighten those up all the way around. Real snug, don't try to strip the screw head or anything. Go all the way around. 